next on the Dave Ramsey Show is Mary from Dallas, Texas. Mary, how can we help? Hi, guys. Thanks so much for taking my call. Sure. Um, okay, my husband and I were routinely in the habit of sucking away 10% of everything we made into our savings. But for whatever reason, the strangest thing keeps happening. Every time we get our savings up around two thousand dollars, or you know, like they're about like a little above two thousand, something always happens. It's either a series of small somethings that take large chunks out of our savings, or it's one big something that takes it all in one fell swoop to the point where I just finally threw up my hands and said, "We're not saving anymore. There's no point. We've lost thousands and thousands of dollars doing it this way, and it's just I'm fed up." Mm, okay. So fed up. Well, Mary, every time. What I know, huh? What are some of the things that pop up all the time? Give me, give me, give me a list or an idea of the last four or five. Oh my gosh! Um, <laughs> uh, it varies. It's literally always a various host of, of reasons, mm-hmm. and it's not the typical ones that you would think of. Not like, like okay, your car breaking down or a medical emergency. Nothing like that. It's all these oddball, weird things that just seemingly come out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. The last hit that we had to take is we got screwed over, unfortunately, by our our bank for at first. I had filed a claim with them, and Mm -hmm. I was totally expecting them to tell me, you know, no, there's nothing we can do about it. But when they told me yes, Mm -hmm. it's like, okay, no problem. They credited back a very large sum of money to us, but then... Less than a month later, they reversed their decision, and so we had to come up with enough money to cover them pulling it out of our account. Otherwise, it would have decimated okay. our entire bank accounts where both our, our checking and savings would have been in the negative. It would have been horrible. Okay, Mary, do you all still have debt? Oh, my gosh. What don't we ever? We do. It's, okay. it's horrible. About how much? What's what? How much debt do you think you have right now, excluding the home? Uh, out of our adjusted, including the rent? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with my figures that don't even include the rent. Okay, our what is that? adjusted gross income, 82% of our adjusted gross income is swallowed up in nothing but debt. Okay, all right. And this so, is not so, counting rent or... Yeah. Okay. All right. So here, here's what you guys need to do. Uh, if, if I'm in your shoes, sounds like to me you, you guys aren't following the baby steps. Uh, you, okay, Mary, okay. the first one is you want to get $1,000 put away. And then outside of that, we're throwing every dollar, dime, nickel, and penny toward debt. Like, you're not saving 10% of your income. That, that's, I don't know what process that is. Uh, but what you guys have to do is we got to wrestle free your money that's going out each and every month, building up the credit card company's legacy and everybody else's. Um, <laughs> and, and so that's what you got to do. So you and your husband get plugged in, sit down together and say, okay, thousand dollars is put away. Some of this little stuff, what I was digging for Chris Brown mm-hmm. was to find out, Mary, is some of this stuff popping up? Is it a want or a need? Okay. Cause the sale going on at the mall, that's not a need. All right. And so, no, so, no, what, not. okay. Um, so get focused yeah. and plug in on the baby steps, honey, cause they work. If you work them, they will work. And so you go down the aisle there and you pluck them off. Chris, what would you say? Yeah, I think, you know, one of the things you said is not working. But one thing that is working is when these things pop up, guess what? You've got the money to pay for these emergencies. You're not paying 20% interest on them. You're not swiping a card because you've saved. And so to say that the $1,000 emergency fund's not working, well, shoot, it is working. Uh, You're not paying interest on all that. So I want to encourage you in that. And I also want to encourage you. You know, make sure that your budgeting process is tight. Um, you know, a couple of your answers so far have been a little bit kind of open-ended, like you don't know the numbers. And so just tighten that down just a tad, and you might see some money that you didn't haven't seen in a while. Thank you for the call, Mary. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show. And so you have to break the cycle. You have to flip this thing on its head and make it behave. You've got to get so fired up and wired up that your broke friends think you've lost your mind.